This is ChatGPT. This will help you practice speaking Chinese anytime, anywhere. Watch this. Help me practice Chinese. Imagine we are at a restaurant. You are the waiters. Start by greeting. 好的，你好，欢迎来到我们的餐厅。我是你的服务员，请问您要点什么？你好，我想点饺子。好的，你想要哪种口味的饺子呢？我们有猪肉韭菜、牛肉洋葱、虾仁猪肉等多种口味。我想要牛肉洋葱饺子，还有其他的牛肉饺子吗？好的，我会为您记录您想要的饺子。Hi everyone, I'm Mei Ling. Just like what we saw earlier, I was completely blown away by how ChatGPT can talk to me in Chinese in such a natural way. In this video. I want to share with you how you can use ChatGPT to help you practice speaking Chinese, and it's completely free. You only need two things: one, a ChatGPT account, and two, a Chrome extension that can transform text into speech. First, let's go to the ChatGPT link. I will provide all the links in the description. So from here, we can click on Chat ChatGPT link, and here you can log in or sign up. Use Google or Microsoft to log in, or if you prefer to sign up from scratch, you can also do that. After you create an account, you will see this interface where you'll be able to ask. ChatGPT any questions, it will respond to you. For instance, if I ask a question, tell me how to teach myself Chinese, and it gives me the answers. Build your vocabulary, listen and speak, watch Chinese TV shows and movies. Yeah, as you see, it gives a lot of great tips. You can keep asking it questions about learning Chinese, but all these are only in writing. So how can we use voice, not just text? And for that, we will need to、uh, go to this. If you search Chat GPT voice extension. So you'll see this voice control for ChatGPT extension, and、um, so we、we'll、add it to Chrome, and then coming back to here, I will activate this、um, extension. All right. So from here, it has added the、um, voice input, and here you can change the language. So I have chosen Putonghua, which is Mandarin, and there is this voice button, and here there's like filters of different controls. You can change the speed of the speech. You can hide controls. There's also keyboard shortcuts if you want. So from here, you are ready to go. You can start using ChatGPT and talk to it in Chinese. So what are some of the ways you can talk to it? The first one is to give it a scenario. So let's say you are at a bakery and you need to buy some bread. Help me practice speaking Chinese. Imagine we are at a bakery. You are the cashier. Oh, 
Oh, sorry. You are the cashier. Start by greeting. So send it. 好的，你好，欢迎来到我们的面包店。您需要点些什么呢？好的，你好。欢迎来到我们的面包店。您需要点些什么呢 ？Here it gives us the response, and it asks me、um, what I want to order. But as you hear the at the beginning, the voice is correct. But once it goes to the pinyin part, it sounded a bit weird. So when you use this, you can. Skip the pinyin part. So let's try to respond to this. 我想要巧克力面包。好的，您想要几个巧克力面包呢 ？I muted this because I know the pinyin doesn't sound accurate. Actually, let's try telling it not to use pinyin. Okay, let's do it again. 好的，您好，欢迎来到我们的面包店。您需要点些什么呢 ？Yeah, so now as we can see, it's much better. It doesn't show the pinyin, so it gives the correct Chinese pronunciation. 您好，我想要点巧克力面包。好的，您需要几个巧克力面包呢 ？And the second way to use ChatGPT to practice speaking Chinese is simply by asking any questions in Chinese. 中国的首都是哪里？中国的首都是北京。加拿大的首都是哪里？加拿大的首都是渥太华 ，Ottawa. You can ask any questions in Chinese, and it will respond to you. You can keep talking with it, keep chatting with it. So, I hope this video is helpful, and、uh, you can practice Chinese with、uh, the help of ChatGPT. It is a great way to practice speaking Chinese, but it doesn't have any visuals and images yet. So it's not that immersive. On my channel, I also have、uh, vlog videos. You can check out my daily life vlogs, and I hope they can be helpful for you to learn some、uh, Chinese phrases naturally. So if you want to see my next vlog, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time.